Hey, son, are you in there? Okay. Is everything okay? I could have sworn you were supposed to be at night practice over an hour ago. Uh, I just came home from the office and noticed your black Maserati was still parked in the driveway. I thought maybe your guy friend from Two Houses Down, uh, G Gavin, gave you a ride because your car was acting up again. But when I came inside, I saw your backpack still on the kitchen counter and your blood thermos still in the fridge. I was about ready to call you up until I noticed your lucky keychain was still hanging by your car keys. Are you feeling well tonight? Do you need me to fly to the nearest campus and capture us a meal? Can I come inside your room or uh, do I need to get the fuck out because you're playing Minecraft? <laughs> uh, okay. I'm going to come in now, alright? Hey man, what's going on? Oh shit, you're crying. What happened? Did you get kicked off the team? Do I need to have an unscheduled parent slash professor conference with Mr. Kurt? You remember, like I did when you were about to be denied first place by Mrs. Matthews in your uh, eighth grade spelling bee? and accused of cheating because you managed to outspell even the senior high school honor students with the word psychophysical therapeutics? Or what about the time a little leak? Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Relax, relax. Just sh 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 relax, my son, relax. The offer still stands, but okay. Just tell me what the issue is. Oh, come on. What makes you think I wouldn't understand? I've been your age once, until I was turned when I was 25 over 140 years ago by your mother, and have been ever since. <laughs> I've lived through plenty of nonsense. You can tell me anything. I'll think differently of you. What the hell? No, uh, of course not. <laughs> Did I care when your older sister fell in love with and married that werewolf guy, uh, Salvador or something, when it goes against our vampiric code of laws? No, I even paid for the wedding, and hell, I, I believe I played golf with his father a few times, and I even joined his mother's book club. Uh, we're having dinner here next week. So come on. I highly doubt there's anything you can tell me that would make me think differently of you. You like men. Well, hey, so do I. Uh, I, I like your Uncle Marcus, uh, who I go night fishing with every other Saturday. Uh, hey, um, I, I even like your male best friends, Caleb, Hunter, and Joseph. Yeah, they seem like cool cats to me. Hey, uh, just, and again, to reiterate, uh, it was really nice of them to help me build the deck in our rose garden. Uh, hell, I even like our neighbors, Ryan and Jonathan. All three of us get together and play poker every Friday night. I mean, there's a ton of guys I like. So, is that, is, is that what's bothering you? You know there's nothing wrong with guys being dudes. Oh? You like, like men? You mean like you love men? Okay, same difference. <laughs> You've never heard the term brotherly love before. Y y you're, you're gay? Oh, wow. That's it? That's why you're crying? No, 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 no. Uh, of course not. Why would you think I would see you differently? There is nothing wrong with being gay and being in love with men. Your team was mocking you because of it? Oh, oh my. They caught you and Caleb kissing under the bleachers? Oh, oh geez. I, I had no idea he was gay as well. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not laughing at you. I, I'm... I just thought that when you both kept saying, uh, uh, two bros sitting in a hot tub five feet apart because they're not gay, I thought that was some sort of inside joke or you saw it on a, a Netflix show or something. 
I never knew it was a cover-up or a way for both of you to hide or suppress what you truly felt for each other. Does his family know as well? Oh, but, but why did you feel that you had to hide this from me? Oh, you heard everything I said when my three work buddies, quote-unquote, took care of our old neighbor, Mr. Sanders. <sighs> oh my goodness, he... He was gay too? Oh, shit, we had no idea. When I yelled at him and said, we hate your people and your lifestyle, it had nothing to do with that. It was because we found out that he was a vampire hunter working for the association th this whole time. And thanks to his daughter, we, we got him. Yes, really, my son. I swear on my life. Uh, I swear on my life, your mother's life, our entire family's lives. It was not because of his preferences and partners. I still love you. I don't care. Well, not that I don't care, but I don't care that you and Caleb are a couple, if, if you both are. And I, I'm sure your mother won't either. And her and I will support your love with every fiber of our beings, much like we do with your sister and Salvador. We won't view differently at all. As long as what you both do, or well, you, you as well, you two by yourself do is legal and consensual, we're happy for you. <laughs> yes, I really mean that. You're my son, and when you were born, I sat down at the hospital in the chair next to your mother who was asleep, and even though you had no idea what I was saying, I told you that I would love and support you and your dreams no matter what. Assuming it wasn't illegal. <laughs> Come on, sit up. There we go. Look. You have to do what I did growing up. I guess, quote, whatever. Growing up. <laughs> you, you can't let these people get to you. If it were me... Like if I was in your shoes, I would walk up to your team while holding Caleb's hand and proudly announce it, but make sure that your team, make sure that they know that you won't stand for their hurtful words and if they ever try anything to you or Caleb, both of you won't hesitate. <laughs> Don't forget, you're also a vampire just like your old man. <laughs> and to add emphasis, both of you should sashay away. <laughs> uh, I'm just being colorful, okay? But don't worry. Dad got your back. You're welcome, son. I love you very much. Now, come on. You best not be later than you already are. Go to your night practice, puff out your chest, and give it your all tonight and every night from here on out. You and Caleb. I'm your father, and you're my son. I will always love you just the way you are. <laughs> make sure to invite your mother and I to the wedding. I'll make sure that we both slay our outfits. <laughs> Give him hell, son. <laughs> <laughs>